name is Cornelius Jones. I'm a local contractor here in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, my relationship to this house, the Jake Gaither house, purchased the house on a tax deed sale, not knowing it was Jake Gaither's house. I just knew he was a famous coach, you know, the, um, coming to Florida and them in 88. All our basketball games were played in the Jake Gaither gym. We used to sneak in the Jake Gaither gym at night, 10, 11 o'clock, midnight, to go play basketball, pick up basketball. The community center, Jake Gaither golf course. He's uh, one of the famous coaches in the world at Florida and them University. When he retired in 1969, Coach Gaither had earned an amazing record of 203 victories with only 36 losses. He had three undefeated seasons, and in 12 other seasons, won all but one game. Only Alabama's coach, Bear Bryant, has approached Gaither's victory percentage. I mean, I couldn't believe it, first of all, that I was lucky enough and fortunate enough the Lord blessed me to even stumble upon this house. When I entered the house, I saw all the pictures and photographs of the coaches Hansel took to Jake Gaither. And to see all the pictures with Jake Gaither with the governors from the 40s all the way to the 70s is, you know, quite amazing, especially during segregation. He was a person who looked beyond certain aspects of society and saw the bright side. I was recruited by him out of, by him out of high school. I came to FAMU in 1958. 48, 48, 48. He was like a father figure to a lot of us, or to most of us. You played against a tough team. You had everything that we could want in a great football team. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Well, the first time I met Jake Gaither, I was a, what, 17, 18 year old boy. Uh, coming out of, a, out of high school, out of Jacksonville, Florida, Stanton High School. Uh, my uh, high school coach introduced me to Gaither, and uh, I, I can vividly remember my high school uh, coach telling him that uh, you won't be sorry that you give this boy a scholarship. He will not coach you no problem. He would get his lesson, and he would be responsible for you. And he would play good football for you. You just give him a chance. He gave you an opportunity to grow, to become a man, uh, be, be responsible, and know what you are doing. Now, if you can't do that, then you need to let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you, and I'll see you see goodbye. That was Jake Gaither. He wanted you to be the best student so that when you were able to get out in the world, that you were able to put poke chops on your table. You always talk about putting the poke chops on your table. And right now, every time I have poke chops, I think about Coach Gaither. So yeah, he was, he was just a, a super person. You probably knew Jay Gaither on campus better than, than, than you knew George W. Gore, who was the president. Uh, the word Gaither meant something, and, and it stood for something at the university, and, and kids respected him and they loved him. Oh, they loved, how did they love him? He put Florida and them on the map. I mean, you got the gym at the Jake Gaither, you got a statue of Jake Gaither on Florida and them's campus. You don't have a statue of anybody other than Jake Gaither on Florida a &M's campus. Jake Gaither is FAMU. I would, I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I gave away something that meant so much to the community and to Florida a &M. uh, It's history behind the, the house, because the house was back then. When there was no other place that the black people could go for entertainment, for great meals, and this type of thing. Governors, representatives, they all came to visit Coach Gaither in this house.
I mean, you'll see pictures of the house. It was, basically, it was a drug house. I mean, it was a, like they got high in the house in every room, it was trash everywhere. They had a raccoon nest up in the ceiling when I tore out the ceiling. I mean, everything, I had to restore everything. Here I am three, four years later and turned it into a museum. It's on the National Register and it's uh, under 501c3. People are here daily, they thank me. They see, see me in the paper on the news and they want to thank me and say, oh, you're the guy that owns the Jay Gaither house. And so, yeah, daily, people thank me. They're happy that it occurred. And they were wondering when somebody was going to take that responsibility. And certainly, uh, the person who did is a person to be recognized for being the one who uh, was responsible for the efforts to get it where it is. It's unbelievable, bro. Just looking looking through some of the books and magazines and see how well things have been pre preserved for all these number of years. Now, you know, we're not talking about just yesterday. Uh, we're, we're talking about things that I'm looking at things that, uh, that, that happened 50 and 60 years ago. When, when I think when the, the young man is through with doing what he's trying to do and want to do with it, it is going to be unbelievable. It's going to be a great place for um, for the fans and, and especially for uh, the, the, the young people who did not know the Jake Gaithers uh, in person uh, to come and see and see what this great man was all about. He, 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 helps, he helps so many kids to, to grow up, to be men, like I am a man uh, today. And, and it hadn't been for uh, Jake Gaither or uh, Coach Gaither, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. My memories are uh, very valuable to me. And uh, through the years, I like to think of certain boys in certain situations. He is definitely needed now, you know, with all that we got going on in the world. I mean, it's important so that my kids, your kids, and people will know who Jake Gaither is. You got to know your history before you can move forward. And I think it's important that, especially as a black community, they realize, you know, what Jake Gaither meant to football and as well as a person, a human being. Discover more about the history of Florida A&M University at wfsu.org slash HBCU Rising. Plus, learn more about the history of black colleges and universities in the upcoming documentary film, Tell Them We Are Rising, directed by award-winning filmmaker Stanley Nelson. Tell Them We Are Rising premieres on Independent Lens on PBS and WFSU Public Media Monday, February 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting as part of the Public Media Initiative American Graduate. Let's make it happen.